The Bible has a lot of awe-inspiring and timeless narratives of Jesus, the Son of God, the second person in the Holy Trinity. It describes the life and ministry of Jesus himself, his various acts of compassion, the numerous numbers of miracles he has performed, and we also see the apostles, his closest followers, becoming the primary teachers of the gospel life of Jesus. One such apostle from the inner circle was James the Greater, the son of Zebedee and Salio, who was called the Greater to differentiate himself from Apostle James, who was known as the Less. The saints of the Holy Catholic Church are often identified by their attributes. Saint James the Greater is usually depicted as a pilgrim, often wearing a hat with cockshells attached to it, holding a pilgrim staff along with a bottle of drinking water. Saint James the Great is the patron saint of Spain who was born in Bethsaida and worked as a fisherman along with his brother John and his partner Simon. According to the Synoptic Gospels, he had been fishing with his father and John, his brother, unable to catch fish when Jesus called upon them. Jesus had arrived at the shore of the Sea of Galilee and told them to dip their nets into the water again. Following his instructions, they caught bounty of fish whose weight couldn't be handled by the boat which nearly sank. James along with his brother John then left behind their lives as fishermen when called upon by Jesus to be the fishermen of men. Jesus had given James and his brother John the nickname Sons of Thunder which could refer to their speech, temper or ambition. For instance, when Jesus and the disciples passed through the Samaritan village where the people refused to show them any kind of hospitality as they were headed towards Jerusalem, the disciples James and John asked Jesus if he would want them to call down a fire from heaven to destroy them, which caused them to be rebuked by Jesus. At one event, when James and John had asked Jesus to grant them the seats on the left and right of his glory, Jesus rebuked them, asking them if they were ready to drink from the cup he was going to drink from, which referred to the pain and suffering and sacrifice he was going to make. Jesus told them that the honour was not his to grant, but his father's. We can interpret from these situations that James had a fiery temper and was also a man filled with great ambition. Peter, James and John were one among the closest disciples of Jesus who were present to witness some of the most significant miracles performed by him. Saint James witnessed the event of raising of Jairus' daughter from the dead, thus witnessing Jesus' power over death. He witnessed the transfiguration of Jesus on the mountain top where they had gone to pray. He sees Jesus begin to shine with rays of bright light and Moses and Elijah appear next to him as he speaks to them. He had also been present to witness the agony of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane where he went to pray prior to Jesus' arrest and crucifixion. James the Greater proclaimed the gospel after Jesus' resurrection. He spread the gospel across Israel and the Roman Kingdom as well. According to the Gospels, when the Holy Spirit descended upon the Apostles on the day of Pentecost, they had acquired the ability to speak different languages, and it is believed that James's language was Latin. It is believed that he travelled and spread the word for nearly 40 years in Spain. It is said that one, on one of the days that he prayed, the Blessed Virgin Mary had appeared to him and asked him to build a church, which he did. He did return to Judea after Pentecost. James stayed in Jerusalem to preach about Jesus, even though it was forbidden and dangerous to be known as a Christian. And what happened next was that he was arrested. The Acts of the Apostles records that Herod the king, who was traditionally identified as Herod Agrippa, had James executed by the sword. Undoubtedly, James loved Jesus to such a degree that he had been the first apostle to be martyred for his faith. The scholars generally believe that the execution of James had happened at around 44 AD. James's execution was in the first time Christians had been persecuted, and it was far from the last, but it did mark the first time that one of the apostles drank the cup that Jesus drank from and died on account of faith in him. The remains or relics of St. James the Greater had been transported by his followers to Galicia in Spain and are said to be buried in Santiago de Compostela, which is why St. James is the patron saint of Spain. St. James, or St. Iago, which is the Spanish form of his name, is also a great military patron of Spain. There are many legends related to the life of St. James, as in the medieval times, the story of St. James had been greatly overstated. Beyond the legends regarding his missionary journey to Spain and his delayed return, there are also legends believed stating that he had appeared in flesh and fought the battle of Clavijo, where he led the Christian army to victory and earned the title Matamoros, the Moor Killer. The feast day of St. James the Greater is on July 25th and is widely celebrated in Spain. It's